For more than a century, commercial fishers have set their nets on Lake Winnipeg. It is a risky business, requiring courage and skill and luck. Their stories, and the story of the lake that has been such an abundant provider, are told at the town of Gimli's Visitor Center. Here, newcomers are welcomed and provided with information and knowledge about this unique community an hour north of Winnipeg, on the west shore of Manitoba's inland ocean. Step outside in summer and you'll find a busy working harbour, the largest of its kind between Thunder Bay and Vancouver. The visitor centre is part of that story. It is housed in what remains of the historic commercial fishing complex on Gimli's Wharf. The community's beloved lighthouse is on display too. Inside, discover the long history of the fishery and the Icelandic Canadian and Indigenous families who have lived and worked on the lake for generations. A mighty sturgeon is on display this fish never stops growing, often more than two and a half meters in length and 140 kilograms. They were a vital source of food and tools for Lake Winnipeg's first inhabitants. Then explore the baby spear among the last of the wooden vessels called gas boats. They carried fishers to their nets between 1940 and 1970. Powered by military surplus truck engines, they were simple, rugged, and reliable. Fishing on Lake Winnipeg has always continued in winter. Handcrafted models depict the horse-drawn equipment used in the early days. And there's more to learn. A jigger is still used to set nets under the ice. The latest addition to the visitor center is a mural that depicts the million square kilometer watershed. Water flows into Lake Winnipeg from four U.S. states and four Canadian provinces. The impact of human activity, the importance of ongoing research into the health of what we call our prairie ocean can be found in the visitor center. Our lake is loved by thousands, those who come to its shore to work or to play.